Playful Pat's Money Counting Fun By Lisa Kelly Pat was known to be quite playful. When his big eyes sparkled and his little freckles twitched, you never knew what Pat would be up to next. One day, Pat was looking in a drawer for his favorite matchbox car. Instead, he found a jar full of coins. Huh! Pat exclaimed, feeling like he had just discovered a treasure chest of gold. He ran to his mom and said, Mom, look what I found. His mom smiled and said, That's the loose coin jar. Pat's eyes lit up even more. It must be worth millions. His mom laughed. Not quite, but we can count it to see how much it's worth. Pat was very excited. First, they organized everything into similar piles, the copper-looking ones in one pile, the silver ones with five cents on them in another, the small cute ones in another, and the biggest ones in the last pile. Pat's mom explained, the copper ones are called pennies, and they're worth one cent each. They have a picture of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, on them. They put the pennies in stacks of ten and had eleven stacks. His mom said, each stack is ten cents, so that would be one dollar and ten cents. Pat was thrilled. Next, they counted the nickels. His mom explained, these are worth five cents and have a picture of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. They put the nickels in piles of ten, with each pile worth fifty cents. They ended up with five piles and two leftover nickels. Pat's mom said, that's two dollars and sixty cents. Now, let's count the dimes, she said, holding up a shiny silver coin. These are worth ten cents each and have a picture of Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president. Pat's tongue stuck out as he carefully stacked the dimes into neat piles of ten. They ended up with eight stacks and three extra dimes. That's one dollar for each pile, his mom explained. So, we have eight dollar plus three extra dimes, which makes eight dollars and thirty cents. Pat clapped his hands with excitement. He was getting the hang of this. Finally, they moved on to the biggest coins. These are quarters, his mom said. They're worth 25 cents each and have a picture of George Washington, our first president. Pat was amazed at how much these coins were worth. Many of the coins had a picture on the back representing different states. They had six stacks of quarters and two left over. That was six dollars and fifty cents. Pat was so happy with all the counting they had done. He realized that what seemed like just a bunch of coins could actually add up to real money. Wow, Mom. I can't believe we counted all that. His mom smiled. Now you know how to count coins, Pat. Every penny, nickel, dime, and quarter counts. As they finished up, Pat looked at the jar of coins and grinned. Maybe I can start saving these coins to buy something special. His mom nodded. That's a great idea, Pat. Saving up your coins is the first step to getting something you really want. Pat felt proud. He might not have found his matchbox car, but he had found something even better, an adventure in counting money. The end. Discovers a bowl full of coins that turns into a tree.
treasure of learning. With his mom by his side, Pat learns to count pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters, all while having a blast. This fun and educational story will help kids master the basics of counting money in a playful and engaging way. Perfect for young readers and parents alike, this book makes learning about money an exciting journey. Whether you're saving up for something special or just want to learn about coins, Pat's adventure will spark your curiosity and make counting fun.